Perfect! Here we go. Sentinel 2, get after him! Go, go, go! Don't let him escape! Faster! What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. What the? Uh, ow! That hurt. Oh! Oh! Hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Oh, oh yeah, that's mm, so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I meant to do some kind of job tonight, in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no! Whoa! Is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Are you sure you turned the power off? Yeah. The light went red on the fuse box. Oh, by the way, my doctor told me I was colorblind this morning. <laughs> Ah, uh, you stupid! Somebody, get him to the chopper. I, I mean, hospital. Uh, now who's going to cover his shift? No, nope. me. No uh, way. I've got plans. Nope. No way. How about me? You are plumbing a water main, not saving the world, Damkov. Uh, fine. You need a uniform. You, give him your clothes, your helmet, and your hammer. No, oh, it's okay. I'll find another one. Get out of the crane, Jimmy! Uh, sure! Just give me a second! Hey there! Thanks! I gotta drive it up to the observatory. Stay here and see if anyone follows me. I get the feeling someone might try and infiltrate the gang tonight. No! Yeah! Oh. Grr. Meet me up there in ten minutes! Sure, sure. <laughs> I am brilliant at disguises. Oh. All the days to leave my glasses at home! No. Oh.
and the final shipment. Just arrived. Uh... Excellent. All we need now is the password for the professor's device. I could soften him up. Uh... No need. My men have finally secured the leverage we have been pursuing. Um, a boss. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just funny. Uh, boss, your camera's at the wrong angle again. What? Botherations! <laughs> Technology! And it's making your voice go funny. Ah! I'll call you later. Professor? That must be Professor Kowalski. Whoa, <laughs> how lucky was I to overhear that, eh? That's the truck the imposter was driving! Uh oh, I think my cover's blown. He's gotta be here somewhere! Find him! That was close. I hate you, elevator. We'll never help you! Oh, really? No! No! <laughs> stop it! No! Stop it! I can't take it anymore! <laughs> That's quite enough, Rex. Oh. My dear professor. Oh, hang on. Oh, the silly computer. That's it. My dear Professor Kowalski, please be reasonable. Forrest Blackwell! Forrest Blackwell? You lied to me! You said my research would benefit society! Oh, it will. Just not this. Society. The society which spurned my gift. The society which made me look like a fool when I offered them paradise. Building your monstrosity in Bluebell National Park would have caused a poisonous fallout. None of the wildlife would have survived. Oh, boo-hoo. Like we don't have enough squirrels. Go on. Do your worst. Professor. I would never hurt you. Dad! Oh, my Natalia! I've seen what they're planning! Don't help them! Off you go, my dear. I trust my intentions are clear. Yes, the password for the device is Forest Black Smell. Ah! Ah. Hmm. Looks like it works. Thank you, Professor. Oh, oh. This silly computer! Will somebody get me a new computer? What about my daughter? What about her? Oh, Natalia. What have I done? Whoa! Uh, room service? We are out! Oh, brilliant flying, pilot man! Oh, my bad. <laughs> Think you can open it? Well, I could have done that. 
Blackwell's mansion is huge. We should split up. Yes, good luck, Chase! Did you find Natalia? No, sorry. But it looks like I found Force Blackwell's secret. He's a model-making nerd. He is an evil genius! This is his plan! Look! This is my phase polarity M! My magic bubble! He means to fly to the moon! How? The shuttle on Apollo Island isn't big enough for all his cronies. And you can't exactly hide a giant rocket in Lego City. The countdown! Blackwell Tower! Ellie, you have to get everyone away from Blackwell Tower. Now! Okay, but why? Blackwell Tower is a rocket. When it takes off, it'll fry everything within ten blocks. I'm sending you evidence. Right. Everyone, you need to clear the area! Look, we don't have long, but we may be able to help. How? I'll tell you on the way. We've evacuated all the citizens. I hope you set up those things right, McCain! Me too. There's no way we'll get to a safe distance now, and I don't do well in the heat. I do. Honey, that rocket's flame is gonna be burning at 3,000 degrees! That is hot! I better take off my jacket. How long do we have, Professor? Uh, about minus three seconds! to their computers, I saw that Natalia was on board! What?! That was... good work, Chase. He is talking to me, right? You've saved a lot of lives today, and, uh, I'm a big enough man to admit when I've made a mistake. Or two. Which is still a lot less than you've made! Thanks, Chief. Mayor Gleason, I need a favor. For the man who just stopped Lego City being destroyed? Name it. I still have some people I need to arrest. I'll call Apollo Island right away. I think they've got a shuttle they can lend you. Oh, oh, shotgun! Chase, I have to warn you that takeoff is extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, I think I can handle it, Professor. I've seen the movies. And launching in 10, 9, <laughs> We do that in case the astronauts change their mind. Oh. Hey, what do you know? In space, you can hear them scream. Well done! You are in outer space! Now, to get to the moon will take almost 10 seconds. Oh, okay, you're about the moon now. What? Yeah, it's really close and very small. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Now, it's time for your spacewalk. You need to prepare very carefully. I want you to check and recheck your suit before you exit the command module. <laughs> sure thing, Professor. <laughs> to that society of blinkered fools. I tried building something truly wonderful for them. A self-contained world which they'd never have to leave. An utopian habitat that catered to their every whim and desire. It was a monument to my genius. 
You were a great man once, Blackwell. But you've gone crazy. Crazy? Your monument was nothing more than an apartment block with a shopping mall. Turn us around! Sorry! <laughs> we're locked in. Bring her over here! Chase! That's pretty low of you, Blackwell. Threatening a lady. Oh, no, no, no. I would never hurt a lady. I just want her to watch you get squashed. Hey there, McCain. Thanks so much for getting me this from the museum. <laughs> wow. That has literally come back to bite me. Whoa, that was close. Be careful. We'll need those energy tanks to run my moon base. No, you do, do ya? Rex, you're fired. And Chase, you're fried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was an almost drive. Chase, he's... Huh? Command module separation complete. Oh, what? Blackwell, that filthy worm. Self-destructive in now. This isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! Huh? Ah! Phew. It's no good, Dad. We can't reach the parachute release! Excuse me. Did anyone order a hero? Chase! Pull that lever! This lever? Okay. What is it? The brakes! Uh-oh. <laughs> Professor Kowalski's on his way. He said the command module will touch down any minute now. And what about the tons of falling debris from the rocket? Don't worry, Chief. I've got you covered. The debris splashed down at sea, Marion. Mind if I park here? 